whisper it, but WhatsApp groups might soon be portrayed as the next marginal gain within cycling. Thomas the Gent certainly used one to good effect on stage two of the Tour de Romandie, or at least in the build-up, having plotted his stage-winning victory with teammate Victor Campanerts two weeks ago when the pair first looked at the stage race profile. The first chatter between the pair of Lotto Soto riders focused on the uphill stage three-time trial, but when Campanerts suggested forming an alliance for stage two from Delmo to Everton, the Gent duly accepted the challenge. A fortnight later, the Lotto Sotol teammates were on the attack, forging clear on the first climb of the day, with Nathan Brown, EF Drapak, Andre Grifo, Astana, and Matteo Fabro, Katusha, keen to latch on. Five soon became three, with only Brown able to last the pace. With 26 kilometers to go and the bunch unable to mount a chase, the gent left Brown for dust. Campanerts had already cracked after sacrificing himself for his teammate, and with 20 kilometers to go, DeGent was virtually assured of his second victory of the season, Victor brings the time trial know-how to the team. If I have a question before the time trial, I can ask him, but two weeks ago we were talking about tomorrow's time trial, and he sent me a profile for it. But he also told me that the day before had an uphill start and that he wanted to go full gas on the climb so that he could get his legs turning, the gent said at the finish, I told him I'd join him, and that we'd go full gas the whole day. So, we made this plan two weeks ago, and we were hyping each other up, and we even had a WhatsApp group, and it was our plan from two weeks ago. Victor gave his all for me until he was finished. He was important for me today but also for the team and the time trials. We can ask him anything about aerodynamics, and he always answers with a lot of passion. At the start of the stage, the gent made it clear to everyone with immediate accreditation that he would attack from the start. Only Bahrain Marita put up any meaningful opposition, but when the gap moved out to 8 minutes, there was little chance of the break being cut, it was a hard start, but I like starts like this. I'm almost always in the breakaway when there's a start like this. Today was a chance of the sprinters but there are only three or four here, so it was a chance for the break too. We went full gas, and in the end, it was very nice for me, I wanted a victory in Romandia because I've not won here yet. I want a victory in every World Tour stage race that I start in. Now I've won in Romandia, and it's important for the team that we ride aggressive and try to win. As he left the press room, Cycling News asked about his strike rate, if I have 10 breaks, and 8 of them are good, then it's 2 victories. Last year, I was in 23 breaks and 2 victories, so I'm already doing better than last year. I also didn't win for 3 years, so that brings it down a bit, the gent has become his generation's leading breakaway specialist. He has won in all 3 Grand Tours, and his set of stage wins now includes stages in Rome Andy, the Dauphiné, Suisse, Paris Nice twice, and Pays Basco, 3 times. He is a breakaway artist and one that few teams appear capable of dealing with. Along with a flurry of messages issuing congratulations he can expect a few invite requests to that WhatsApp chat. If you're in a group with DeGent, you've always got a chance.